guys. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey, what's the rush, Slick? Betty Ann's up tonight. <laughs> I told him Betty Ann tells really weird stories, and he's been looking forward to it ever since. Ooh, pressure's on. This better be good. I'll see what I can do. A doll? You're telling a doll story? Weak. Siesta time, man. Oh, wake me up if it gets good. Come on, Tuck. It's OK. Let him sleep. Most people think dolls are just toys. But they're really like perfect little people. Sometimes they're so lifelike that it's almost as if the doll maker took a person and shrunk them down to doll size. But that's not how dolls are really made. Or is it? Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Doll Maker. Ever since she could remember, Melissa spent weekends now and then at her aunt and uncle's house in the country. For the first few visits, it was pretty much a total drag. But then the Hendersons moved in next door. Even though they only saw each other a few times each year, Melissa and Susan Henderson quickly became best friends. Where's Susan? Thought she'd be here waiting for me. You told her when I was coming, didn't you? I'm sorry, Melissa, but the Hendersons moved back to town early this spring. But why? They love this place. Well, well we, we don't exactly know why, hon. Come on, let's get you settled in. You Come must on. be famished. Yeah. Okay. No, Mom, the troop was fine, but the Hendersons have moved. Susan Henderson, remember? We hung out all the time. Now I've got nothing to do all weekend. Aunt Sally and Uncle Pete don't even have cable. Okay, okay. I love you too. Yeah, bye. 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 Hurry up, sweetie. We don't want to be late for bingo. Bingo. Hey, Melissa. I got some work to do on the septic tank. Want to lend a hand? Septic tank. Gee, sounds like fun, but uh, no thanks. <laughs> Suit yourself. Anybody here? Hello? Thank you. 
well, probably just a mouse. So. <coughs> <coughs> I really don't think you should be snooping around up here. Now, come on. I'm not snooping around. The front door was unlocked, so I just... I thought maybe Susan had come back. What on earth would make you think that? I saw someone in the window. Oh. You probably saw me. Now, come on. Come on. Never come over here again. Why not? Because the Hendersons asked us to watch over the place. And it's not a responsibility I take lightly. They left a lot of precious things behind. Like what? A bunch of old furniture and stuff? Well, the, that dollhouse alone must be worth a fortune. It's nothing for a child to play with. Play with a dollhouse? Me? Give me a break. Oh, Melissa, I don't know. It's just that I'd rather you kept away after what happened. After what? Aunt Sally, what happened? Aunt Sally? I suppose you had to find out sooner or later. Melissa, the Hendersons didn't just move away. Last winter, Susan disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? No one knows what happened to her. One minute she was there, the next she was gone. The whole town came out. We searched everywhere. Her parents were heartbroken. They wanted to stay in case she came back, but in the end, they couldn't stand to live in that house any longer. Too many memories. They're keeping it, though, just in case she ever comes back. Come on, sweetie. Let's go in. shouldn't have lied to her about the Henderson girl in the first place. I didn't want to ruin her weekend. You didn't tell her what Marge Henderson said about the house, did you? Shh. She might Shh. hear you. No, of course not. Anyway, Marge was beside herself with grief. She didn't know what she was saying. Maybe not, but she said it pretty clearly. It was the house that got her. That's what she said.
Are you all right? Yes, but it's Susan. She's still here in the house. Oh, Lisa. Please, let me go. I saw her. Oh, Lisa, listen to me. Come here. Lord knows why that door was ever up there in the first place. They should have boarded it up long ago. I'm sure I saw her. At the end of a long corridor, there was this weird light. Honey, I know finding out about Susan was a shock. I wasn't dreaming or sleepwalking. It was as real as... Up that door, Susan will never be able to get out. Melissa, listen to what you're saying. What on earth would she be doing in the attic after all this time? I don't know. Susan, where are you? Susan? I knew you'd come. What's wrong with you? You look just like a doll. But how? What's happened to you? You turned into a doll. 
The dollhouse did this to you? Okay, look. You sit here. I'll be right back. It's the attic. Yes, I'm going to take you back to the attic. The attic. Yes, the attic. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Impossible. The dollhouse is in their attic, not outside. This has to be it. Overreacting. I'm sure she'll turn up safe and sound. It's the same as Susan. Exactly the same. I mean, maybe it was someone else who broke into the house. I mean, for all we know, Melissa could be out going for a walk. Oh, Peter. Look. You disappeared. Just like Susan. I did. What do you mean, sweetheart? I disappeared just like Susan. And I found her. What are you saying? Look! Uncle, 
burn the dollhouse in a big bonfire in the backyard. As it went up in flames, Melissa wondered where the door in the Henderson's attic would lead now that there was no dollhouse left. The end. Yeah. Where would it lead to? Oh, you awake? Yeah, yeah. Not bad for a doll story. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Good night, everybody. Yo, Bet! You forgot your doll! This thing looks just like you. Where'd you get that? That's a whole nother story. <laughs>